This motor car bodybuilding plant in Adelaide, seen here as a model, is helping to solve some of Australia's problems in the worldwide shortage of cars. Here, steel sheets are shaped by giant hydraulic presses into body sections. One gentle movement of the press and the floor of the motor car has come into being. Similar presses press out each individual part of the body. The door panel gets the full treatment. After being pressed out in one press, it goes through a further process in another. The chrome-plated radiator grills are welded, and the stack is a healthy indication of output. The job starts with sub-assembly and the welding of front and back sections with the floor. After welding, the seams are filled with soft solder to give the joins an even finish. Standardized sizes to micrometer measurements have avoided all possibility of error. The soldering is then filed down for overall smoothness, and the basic frame is ready for the fitting of doors. With the complete metal body assembled, it's dipped in an anti-corrosive bath. Before the cars enter the spraying chamber, they are again washed and rubbed down. It's a job for many hands. And most of the workers in this case are new Australians. Several coats of paint are sprayed on according to the colour chosen for the car. Back on the assembly line, the car bodies are near the end of the process. Another lot of cutting compound is painted on a thick mixture which would seem to spoil the paint, but once it's cut back with electric polishers, the full shine of the final coat is evident. The windscreen is fitted in two sections, and the safety-type glass enables liberties to be taken, which would be quite impossible with standard glass. Try hitting your lounge window with a mallet sometime. A train load of car bodies is ready for interstate and ever growing upward in a vital industry for peace or for war.